Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at Android 12 Beta 5 port for OnePlus 8 series. Huge thanks to Jay for porting this for OnePlus 8 series and this is one of the best Android 12 port for OnePlus 8 series. You get almost everything working fine on this port and it can also be used as daily driver. Before moving ahead, thank you so much guys for showing so much of love and support on our previous video. We had the like target of 200 likes and we have got 500 likes on that video within 24 hours. So once again, huge thanks thanks to everyone and let's keep a target of 200 likes on this video too. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe that will help us in making more and better content. So here I have my OnePlus 8 on which I am running Android 12 Beta 5 port ported by Jay. You can find his telegram link in the description below. Make sure to follow him. First let me show you the software information. Here you can see Android version is Android 12. Beta 5 comes with 5th September 2021 security patch. These are the benchmark results on my OnePlus 8. With single core device have scored 841, with multi core device have scored 2565. With Antutu benchmark application, device have scored 656907. Pretty great scores on my OnePlus 8. And guys, if you are willing to install this port, you can follow the installation guide at the end of this video. Android 12 Beta 5 brings bit changes to the previous version of Android 12, and now most of the applications of Google supports Material U. On most of the GSIs, Major issue is related to Bluetooth and Volti services. But again, thanks to Jaya for this beautiful port. By default, you will get Volti working along with the Bluetooth. I paired my Realme Buds Air 2 and I did not face any kind of issues in the latency or audio quality. We are not sure this at glance on this latest Pixel launcher is a bug or this is how it meant to be on Android 12 Beta 5. At glance have been moved towards the left hand side and now we don't get to see weather information. But Jay have enabled developers option in the launcher setting and from here you can disable the at glance feature. Currently I am using my Atel sim card on this particular port and I have also tested Geo sim card. Both the sim cards works fine. There were no issues with the calling services or mobile data services. Both the sim works fine on this port of Android 12. And as I say always in my videos that don't expect few things to be working fine on such ports like fingerprint unlock and alert slider for OnePlus devices. These things doesn't work on any of the GSIs until you have a device with physical fingerprint scanner. By default you won't get any camera applications pre-installed on this Android 12 port but I'll leave a Gcam link in the description below and this particular Gcam works fine on my OnePlus 8. Almost all the features like portrait mode and video recording works fine on this Google camera application. So make sure to use the application given in the description below. With Android 12 Beta 5, Google adds that most awaited clock widget which can be found in the widget section after long pressing on the home screen. So here you can see this is the widget which have been recently added on Android 12. Along with this you'll also find 4 widgets of clock. You can long press on any of the widget and drag it to the home screen. As said, most of the applications of Google support Material U theme and one of them is Clock application which completely gets a new UI. Also Alarm UI have been completely redesigned and this is the new UI which comes with this latest clock present on Android 12 Beta 5. On Beta 5, Google have also added this new shortcut for home controls. With the help of this, you can control all your smart gadgets. Another new addition to Android 12 Beta 5 is this universal search feature in the app drawer. So this latest updated version of Google Pixel Launcher, we get this universal search feature from where you can search anything from your phone and also you'll get the option to search from Google. So this is one of the features which I like the most. Both the bands of Wi-Fi like 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz works fine. On most of the GSIs, we don't get this one-handed mode working. But on this port, you can easily access one-handed mode with the gesture. This is one of the finest Android 12 port for OnePlus 8 series. I have been testing lots of GSI images on OnePlus 8 devices but huge thanks to Jay for this beautiful port and now you get almost everything working on your device except few. And I am not going in depth of Android 12 beta 5 changes. I have already made a video on that if you guys want to check out link of that video can be found in the description below. And if you guys want to try this out you can follow the installation guide. So to install Android 12 on your OnePlus 8 series, just follow the on-screen instructions now. Before proceeding, make sure device bootloader is unlocked 
and you are running on the open beta software. In my case, I have my OnePlus 8 which is running on Oxygen OS open beta 12 and this was the last update from OnePlus based on beta program. Also let me show you my device bootloader is already unlocked. If you guys are not aware about unlocking the bootloader, I'll leave a video guide in the description below. Just follow that video guide and you'll be easily able to unlock the bootloader. So here you can see OEM unlocking can't be disabled because bootloader is unlocked. After that, you need to enable advanced reboot and also enable USB debugging. Once you are done with that, just reboot a device into fast boot mode. And guys, Android 12 port should be flashed on slot A. You'll find lots of video guides or commands on XDA to check out the current slot of your device. So let's reboot a device into bootloader mode or you can say fast boot mode. And meanwhile, you can download the required files of Android 12 port. So here, there'll be three files. One will be the main file of Android 12. Second will be the support package for OnePlus 8 and third file will be support package of OnePlus 8T. Just extract these files depending on which device you are flashing. So here I am flashing on OnePlus 8. So I have the support package of OnePlus 8. From the support package you need to copy the vendor file and place it in the main files of Android 12. So here you can see we have all the files of Android 12. Just place the vendor file in this folder and connect your device to PC. On my device, you can see device state is unlocked, which means my device bootloader is unlocked. After you have connected your device to PC, now you need to run this file, which is called as flasher file. Just double click on this and the process will start. Once it is completed, the device will boot into system. And here the installation process have been completed. Let's see if a device boots into Android 12 because most users get that crash dump error while booting. If that's the case, guys, you need to once again flash the entire ROM. And here you can see on our device also, we have got the crash dump, crash dump mode error. So now I'll remove the data cable and again boot my device into fast boot mode. So for that combination is hold power key and both the volume keys together. Once your screen turns off, again release the buttons and press again. So device have been powered off. Now I'll again use the same combination of volume down, volume up and power key to boot my device into fast boot mode. And there we go. Our device have been successfully booted into fast boot mode. Now we'll again flash the same ROM and after this a device will boot into Android 12. Okay, now let's again flash the same ROM by double clicking on this flasher file. And this time device will obviously boot into Android 12. We'll wait for the process to complete. The process might again take around three to four minutes. So now the installation process have been successfully completed and we should be able to boot a device into system. There we go. We have the Google's boot animation on our OnePlus 8. And here we are into system. You can complete the initial setup and you'll be good to go. So guys, this was a quick look on Android 12 beta 5 port for OnePlus 8 series along with the installation guide. Once again, huge thanks to Jay for this port. I'll leave his telegram group link in the description below. Make sure to follow him. And if you still have any kind of questions related to installation or Android 12 beta 5, do let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.